22 pictures of Ed Gein's House of Horrors. Curiosity seekers peer through a window into the house of serial killer Ed Gein in Plainfield, Wisconsin, November 1957. The bright lighting in the side ground floor window is part of the illumination for the on-site crime lab. Ed Gein's house from afar, seemingly peaceful and innocent. Curious townsfolk peer into Ed Gein's kitchen while he's taken into police custody. The deputy sheriff stands outside one of the most gruesome crime scenes in American history. Locals look into Gein's residence after his arrest as news of his crime spread across the nation. The crime lab visits the Gein residence upon his arrest. A wreath found in Gein's home. Trooper Dave Sharkey looks over some of the instruments found in Gein's residence. Human skulls, heads, death masks and the newly butchered corpse of a neighboring woman were also found. One of the few uncluttered rooms in Gein's house. His mother frequently occupied this room, which Gein left spotless after she died. The utterly chaotic kitchen where parts of Gein's victims' bodies were found. Ed Gein's eerie dirty living room. A chair found in Gein's home, upholstered with human skin. Ed Gein's neighbor, Bob Hill, looking around in horror. He visited Gein the same day he killed Mrs. Warden. Police investigators searched for evidence on Gein's eerie property. A police investigator carries a chair from the home that was fashioned with human skin. Police investigators dig into Gein's garage. Investigators move a car to properly clear the area of any potential evidence, of which Gein's house of horrors had plenty. Ed Gein lived in these conditions, but also maintained several rooms in mint condition. He closed those off after his mother died in 1945. A police officer examines the junk littered kitchen where human skulls, various body parts, and the butchered body of Mrs. Bernice Wharton were discovered. A crowd of around 2,000 combed through Ed Gein's former belongings during an auction following his arrest. A man boards up at Gein's house to protect the evidence from being tampered with. Smoldering ruins is all that remains of the House of Horrors after a fire of undetermined cause destroyed the building on March 20, 1958.